we lost a lot of talented individuals in the streets of Chicago that, that could have been president of the United States. They could have been governors, mayors, the biggest entertainers in the industry. Look at the skyline, it's beautiful. You think about how beautiful their talent was, but then you realize where you at. When I'm when I'm passing through certain neighborhoods, if it's already a heightened alert of violence in that neighborhood and it's tension, you gotta hurry up and get to from point A to point B. You can't be just we call it lacking, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't just be cruising through no neighborhood that's in war with each other, you know what I'm saying? Cause Nine times out of ten, they probably don't recognize the car you in at the time, and they can mistake you as a shooter from a, a, one of their rival gangs, and they'll open fire on you. Chicago hasn't had a day without a shooting or homicide since February last year. The hometown paper's been tracking every death. Most victims are young black men, often from a handful of neighborhoods. Many of the killers, too. Four and a half thousand Americans were killed in Iraq, this many in Afghanistan. More have been killed in Chicago since 2001 than in both wars combined. Do what was our guide to the parts of the city few outsiders get to see. But in Chicago, you got to be ready, man. I don't know how to reiterate that. Like, ain't no second chances, man. When we turn these alleys right here, you're going to already see the shorties on top of the cars. They know the cars. You got to come through here slow. You can't come speeding up through our block. They'll shoot your shit up. <laughs> and I'm talking about all of them in high school, you know what I mean? Like, this shit for real. That's how they protect themselves. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, we out here for real. Uh -huh. Ain't no plan out here on GG. You gotta keep them shit for real. Yeah, we out here. Uh, so, where have we come now? All right, we're on the way to go see my artist, uh, GGE Nooski. And um, we like on the south suburbs of Chicago. He's basically restrained to the house because he's on house arrest. Right, okay. If you want smoke, ain't no problem. In terms of the danger, danger, it's dangerous. It's real dangerous. You got people on this block and tour with the people on the next block. It's right around the corner. You can't even go under the white lock. You can't even go around the corner because you in tour with these people around the corner. It's, it's, it's a place full of madness. Nuski's on house arrest, accused of carrying illegal guns, a charge he denies. My dream is to make it, I want to be a rapper, just make it, feed my family. That's all I'm focused on right now, feed my family, feed the ones who was loyal to me, people not loyal here no more. You know, if you look at the percentage of people who are killed in America by guns, the vast majority are young black men. Definitely. I mean, growing up with us, it was more about uh, hustling and trying to get money. Um, the younger generation now, um, not so focused on money. They're more focused on violence, killing, and you know what I'm saying, all the uh, internet, social media, uh, wars, violence, and all that. You know, and it then just spills out into the streets, you know, and, um, and all day long they ride around trying to find somebody to shoot. Is everything different now? You know what I'm saying? And it all started from the way they just took all the gang leaders out the, out the hoods, you know what I'm saying? It changed everything. Duop took us to meet Bodil, a rapper from the west side, the most dangerous part of the city. Like Duop, his music is drill. My conscience can't break me, I deal with it. Hardcore hip-hop native to Chicago that reflects a life of poverty, drugs and violence. The past few months, I done seen more people close to me and more people that I know that's been shot and killed than I have ever. And everyone's got a gun. Everybody got a gun. I don't know, listen, I've never seen so many guns. Like, we had a lot of guns. 
but I never seen so many guns like now, ever. And, and it's like girls, it's like they the dropped. It. It's like they dropped off like somebody dropped off crates of guns in everybody hood. Like it's like it seemed like it was designed for a motherfucker to lose. Like somebody putting all these guns here. Well, you got little kids and everybody. Everybody got guns. And they don't got just little 22s. And when we was coming, it was 22s, 25s, 38s. And they got big guns and 30 shot clips and shit. I think that a lot of guys need to die in order to make it, make it better. I think some of these niggas need to get killed and knocked off to get them out the way, make it a better place because some of them. Okay, so we've been stood here for like five minutes. I've seen two police cars, one ambulance kind of go by. Yeah, I mean, it ain't safe over here at all. It's fucked up. All you can do is pray. All you can do is pray and try to live right because life is short and your life can end like that. So all you can do is try and help as many people as you can while you're here. Tell the people that I tell all my brothers, all my family, man, I love you. I love you. I love you because you never know when it's the last time that you're going to see him. All right, man. All right, look. Y'all ready? Hello? Hey, Duo. Yeah. Um, uh, that was good. What What just happened? Why did we have to leave so quickly? Because they in war around now. The, the, the two gangs that's around now, they in beef. That's why so many people get shot in that area. And somebody just got shot, like, a couple blocks up. He, he told me to hurry up and get y'all. You know what I'm saying, on the expressway because it wasn't safe over there. So it wasn't safe for us to stay? Yeah, it wasn't safe for us to stay because somebody could have just pulled up on us and did a drive-by. I traveled the world, man. Like, I didn't live in Europe. I didn't been in the military. I didn't been in Iraq. I, I traveled the world, man. I didn't seen a lot. I view it as like a third world country, man. Like, this, this place not normal here. And we understand that, that's the crazy part. Sometimes it does look normal. But this party on Duop's block is to remember his best friend, who was gunned down nearby. It's, it's a thing that the police authority don't like exactly what we do or the way we live. We actually don't like the way that we live. But when you're pushed into a way of life, when, you, when you're forced into a way of life, how else can you live? The house behind is where Duop grew up. Duop's come back here to film his new video. Today it's abandoned, used by drug addicts. Like, even though we love the hood, it, outside looking in, it look like we glorify the hood. We want to be out of the hood, though. That's why we work so hard at showing our potential, because we want to leave this place, man, for good. Yeah. Yeah, in my neighborhood, they start young, man. And it's like, when you read the news headlines, that's the age frame they all dying there from gun violence. So we got to teach the kids how to defend themselves. It's senseless, it's senseless violence at the end of the day, but it's like, what do you do when you caught in that moment? You know, you rather, you rather, you rather be caught with protection than without protection. Saying that on red bottles, niggas don't read nothing. Black man real shit, man. Do away. The young people doing the killing right now. You know I mean? 16 year olds, 15 year olds is doing the killing right now, you know what I'm saying? Z Money's one of the younger rappers in the city, also on the west side. He's recently out of jail for violating probation. This is one of the worst areas right here in the in the neighborhood. He's just in the police station right here. You know what I'm saying? So that shit don't mean nothing. Ain't no guidance out here. That's the problem. That's why I ain't like back in the day. Ain't no guidance out here. So it's like every man for themselves. Right. No See, back in the day, you mean everybody need that gun. Cause it was guys, you knew not to go over there cause this person right here was gonna get on your ass. Now, it's, it's every man for himself. You better get your motherfucking gun before you get your ass shot. And that, and that, and that shot might be killed, you know what I'm saying? Shut up. Cause we all know, man, come from this motherfucker, you really gonna 
sell drugs, you gonna rob a motherfucker, you gonna get you a bogus ass job, paying you eight dollars an hour, then you gonna have to go sell some drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like the shit all is a maze to you to get right back on the block and sell some drugs. You can't really come outside at night. When I, my granddaughter come outside, I have to come outside with her. When I walk back in the house, she's right behind me going back in the house with me. So Because of what? What are you worried about? We don't know what's gonna who's gonna come up, come down here shooting. Man I come through doing all this shooting, man. The shots is fucking baby in your fucking stomach, man. Her fear is real. This is what happened to one little girl this summer, six year old Takara. Breaking news update on the six-year-old girl shot while playing outside her home as she fights for her life. A plea for witnesses to come no. forward. No! I didn't even know that my daughter was shot. They steady shooting through the window and everything. So when my daughter ran, we all ran in the house. My daughter said, Mom, my stomach hurt. So I asked my brother, I'm like, did my daughter get shot? He was like, no. And me as a mother, I checked her anyway. And there, when I raised up her shirt, there was her intestine gushing out of her stomach. How common is it that the, the shooting around here? Every day. Every day? Yeah, every day. Yeah, every day. I am so scared for my kids. I tell you the truth, I'm really scared for my kids. You see this right above my yeah. head could have been shot. That little money you know right there. Yeah. Marshall Brooks, 2006, Yes, it's terrible. I really, really need to relocate. You got on your I can't just sit here and live in fear like this. It's terrible. Hey, baby. To be honest, I got a son that's seven, and I got a daughter that's four. And I haven't taught neither one of them how to ride a bike yet, because it's just the environment they live in is not safe. I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you more. My biggest fear is involving my children is them being caught up in, in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Um, those shots fired at her, Chantal, and this one just coming in. Chicago's had more killing than L.A. and New York combined this year. The city looks set for another year of record killing. The Chicago PD ignored our request for an interview. I'm just trying to change the cycle, you know, and it's hard when when you don't really have help, you know what I'm saying? Like and in a way it's like it's like we put in a weird position, you know what I'm saying? Because Hold on, cut real quick. It's okay, man. All they, all they want to do is just get out of here, man. We only doing this shit to get out. It's crazy, man. Just to go to the beach, we got to have guns with us, man. Like, this shit ain't normal, man. I'm forced to do this shit everywhere I fucking go, man. Like, this, this shit don't end. You know what I'm saying? This is a never-ending fucking cycle, man. Ain't no way out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? This shit make you paranoid. This shit, it fuck you up, man. Yeah. And that's why we do so many fucking drugs, because we just trying to cope with this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it takes man, the pain away. We human, man. Like, we, we just fucking human. I lost my pops when I was seven, had the man up. He introduced me to the hustle, told me ban up. I got my grams up, the youngest of my mama kids. I bagged it up, but never trapped it out my mama crib. I was wild as hell, nailing at the age of 10. Dice game, smoking herb, role models, well with them. A strong mama, but the streets where we hung out. My homies spent a lot of nights, they mama strung out. I reflect to the past, it arranged me still.